It comes pretty fast and apparent in DIY speaker or subwoofer enclosure design that you would need some kind of software to calculate and simulate your speaker enclosures. If you are new to this, best way is just start designing. Start messing with different drivers and seeing what kind of results you can simulate. Maybe easiest to use calculators are these at mhaudio.nl website. They are pretty basic, but fast to get going. And you don't need to install anything and they work in mobile as well. We will look how to use them and how to get good designs with them. We will use three different subs that will give us three different challenges as an example. So let's start designing and when the design is what we are focusing on. We are using this calculator called Base Reflex Box Calculator with the possibility to customize the box volume. We will need that possibility. Roll down and here is the calculator. And the red fields is where we input our data. Green is calculated results. And down here is going to be the response curve. Visualization of our results. First we need till small parameters from our driver's spec sheet. Here is one retailer that sells this Dayton Audio 6.5 inch subwoofer and we want to design the vendor box for this. In here, retailer's page, there might be the parameters or a link to the data sheet where you can find DS parameters. Or you might need to google them with driver's name. Now, let's input data that we need into our calculator. First, was QTS that is total Q factor of the driver and QIS electrical Q factor and FS these are used to calculate the box tuning but these next values SD so that is effective piston area and Xmax that is driver's excursion these are used to suggest minimal vent diameter so that it would be not too noisy. Select how many vents and the diameter of them. And now we see the results. Hit the calculate flat response button. This provides totally flat response and gives out volume of the box and the vent length. Explanation of what these letter combos mean is above here in this page. Results for this enclosure are 6.88 liters in volume with tuning of 42.5 Hz minus 3 decibel point is 44 Hz vent is about 43 cm long and the diameter is what we set here but now we know this first correction that we need to make our port is smaller than this calculator successed here so let's fix that and put 6 cm here and calculate again. Nothing except our vent length changed because the tuning is same. But now port will be quieter. This graph shows our response and we can hover our mouse over to see the amplitude and frequency of that data point. And this vertical line shows our F3 point. So that is the minus 3 decibel point of this subwoofer enclosure. Great, we have our custom enclosure design. But now for the next feature, this custom calculation here. Because this flat response needs small enclosure, that would be good even for a bookshelf speaker. But if we are doing example small active sub, what kind of performance we could accept for a larger box? So here we enter our new desired box air volume. Let's start with 9 liters. This graph now shows in red our custom calculation. Larger box seems to go lower, but is a little bit less sensitive. Let's go larger. 
12 liters, that probably is not going to introduce any problems with excursion. But remember to keep the volume sensible. Now, this goes much lower, and that's nice. But notice that these red and blue lines are separated in different axes. So this larger box is not 5 decibels louder. It's actually a little bit quieter. In 60 Hz about 1 decibel than this flat response. So not bad. And we got F3 point in 35.8 Hz, almost 10 Hz lower. Board is pretty lengthy. But this custom design beamin is smaller. So maybe we can change this board to 5.5 cm in diameter and hit the calculation button again to get this new shorter vent length. Let's move on to the example 2. Ground Zero Iridium 12 SPL. 12 inch sub that is designed more for car use. Same routine. Input the data from the spec sheet. However, the spec sheet does not give effective piston area, SD. And that is quite common in these spec sheets. You can calculate the area if you know the actual diameter of the cone and the half the surround. That number is not given either, and because it's not crucial, I will use common size of 12 inch subwoofers. I will put common SD numbers of given subwoofer sizes into the description. We can hit the calculate button first and then change this vent diameter for some number over this beamin and calculate again for the correct vent length. With the different results as you can see compared to that last example. But this being a car subwoofer it's designed more for the boosted response, not this kind of flat output. And you can see that in this huge box size that this calculator requires. And another problem is this dip here before the vent takes over. This will cause over excursion when the volume gets louder. So, not good, not usable design. Let's modify it and actually use this big vented box recommended volume that this spec sheet gives. Much better response. And this box size is actually usable. It is not the same tuning that this spec sheet gave. But it gives good alternative and some idea how the sub behaves. If this is used in a car, it's good to remember that car capping gives huge boost in this lower base region. Third example gives totally different challenge. This Jeep Cas 15 in subwoofer doesn't give us needed parameters. This is quite a common problem that you might face. Here in the manufacturer's website, we only have QTS, not the QES. We could guess it. Or we can jump into this other calculator in MH audio website. This only needs QTS, but doesn't give a possibility for custom volume. So this is similar to that flat amplitude calculation. This prompt comes up for this being higher in Q, so it is designed to have boosted output for the car use. But let's see the results anyway. And this box volume is absolutely unusable for single 15 inch subs. Without questioning the QES, we cannot do smaller custom volume design. Also, sealed enclosure design calculator in this site needs electrical Q. If you, however, have that parameter, this is nice calculator to compare the two. Sealed and vented flat amplitude. So, there's nothing more what we can do, and that's disappointing. I will be doing some quest work and showing you the enclosure design for this buffer in upcoming video. So tune in this channel to see that. That was the look for these MH audio calculators. There are many other calculators and software, but I find this to be one of the easiest to start using. 
Finding right specs is probably hardest part, but you need to use also your own judgment to get good designs, as we saw from these examples. Tell me what kind of designs are you working on and subscribe for more DIY audio content.